here Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680 or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. This is a Victor phonograph, but this is a very interesting Victor phonograph. Its nickname is Stubby. My sweet angel named it Stubby. And I like that name. This is a Victor 107. They came with gold-plated hardware. They came with a sig pot lid, but comes down softly like a credenza. I played the photograph, this, with one of my rebuilt reproducers, because I have to rebuild the reproducer. It came with a machine and tune it up, and we have to clean it and so on. Victor advertised these in 1924 as a very high-end machine for $200, the 107. They make roughly a thousand of these and maybe 13 to 15 in electric version. They started the serial numbering around 500 and ended around 1500 on those. These are very unique and very scarce photographs. They have this huge horn opening with this massive horn in it like this. And then they have small doors here, but it has a drawer like a VTLA and it pulls out, which is very interesting. They finished them all off, all the way around, even the back side. The back of the machine comes off so that you can get to the SIG pots. If you were walking through an antique store, and you know a little about phonographs like a Victor 11, you would look at that and say, oh, that's just a Victor 11. But then when you look at the ID tag, you go, oh, very interesting. They tried to sell them at Christmas, and they didn't sell well because this thing called radio was coming out. And why would you spend $200 on a phonograph and 60 cents to a dollar for records from the Victor dealer when I could buy a radio and listen to the same music? These are interesting historical things about phonographs. But 15 months later or so, Victor came out with the orthophonics, which we both dearly love, my angel and I. You know, and this is a lot of fun, and that's my tip for the day.